That's the end of the, of the film which identifies the film and I usually put that on the magazine to keep that always with the film. It's a good it's a good label. And then we take making sure that this is the take up side. The film gets threaded onto the roller and then should come out there. There we go. And just tighten this loop up again so that it doesn't scratch, doesn't rub on anything. Dave, can I have a burst of sync when it's convenient, just to make sure we're in business? Well, I'll do it with the subject, I think, Bill, if you don't mind, because my voice is a bit light and not very clear. Running. Oh, you're checking, yeah, sorry. Okay. No, not yet. That's oh, running. I can see the shadow. I was always very careful when I was doing this. There's little bits of film you've got to tear off from time to time. Or never, never leave it in the street or put it in somebody's house because it's you're so identifiable. Right. So we should have 12, 12 frames there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve clear frames out there and take the centre sprocket. Goes on that so that when it goes on the camera frame, the uh, pull down claw engages with the top at the top of the stroke. And I just bend that back there like that to form so that when it goes back into the roll there, it's a final right, David? It sits flat. Oh, sorry. Is this one all right? That's fine. Take that back down, yeah. Okay, fine. Okay. That's all the land. Good. Is it? Yeah. yeah. Is the truck empty, Alan? Is there, is there nothing left on the, the truck? Van? <laughs> nothing left on the van. <laughs> if we had, who was the manager that came out to the to location and always used to look around the back of the van to see if they were hidden anything? It, no, no, no. To see if there was lamps on there that he was that they were paying for and not being used. And not being used. Yeah, yeah. Thank yeah. you. They used to hide them in all sorts of places. Yeah. <laughs> right. So that's the mag ready to go. Yeah, and what I normally do is put this. Lots of people used to use normal camera tape, but this stuff that they put on the cans is fantastic tape. And it never, in the tropics or wherever you are, whatever weather and such, this tape always sticks. And you can undo it and do it up again. That also has got the identification on. In the 60s, they didn't put identification on, and we complained to the Kodak, and Kodak did something about it. So there's another thing we caused, caused to happen. And always put over the over the catch because people come up to the camera and fiddle around with things and before you know where you are the mags they've unclipped the mag and it's come off it has happened and we used to have a cameraman who used to nick pieces of tape off for various things and I found that most irritating because I never had enough tape sometimes to go back on the on the can so Oops. Did you get sync all right, Bill? No. Nope. Well, it won't. That Maltese cross won't come up unless the camera's running and then you bring it up into, into rolling, the running position, recording. Yeah, I'll try that. It didn't make any difference. Oh, hang on a second, Noel. Maybe there's no batteries in it. Well, there seems to be a light glowing somewhere. A what? A light, a light glowing, glowing. Is that good, 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 good for you? Is that running, David? <laughs> no. Nope. Well, the camera's not running. Not at the moment, no. It's going to work.
Well, at least it used to get the cameraman to be able to escape from the director by running up a tree yes. with a short lead, and that was the end of that. I, on the <laughs> other hand, uh, I used to keep the gate as clean and dry as possible because yeah. then the hairs don't stick to any grease. Yeah, yeah. well, we all had our... That's, we all had our I different, did it the different wrong way. ways. For years, I did it the wrong way. Did you? Yeah. Which way is that? That way. Oh, yeah, well, <laughs> <laughs> you oldies. <laughs> It's a oh. generation thing, John. Yes, I know. I'm lucky. I'm lucky I've got a comfortable chair.